Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic, we're going to discuss the addition of complex numbers. So in this topic, we will define the sum of two complex numbers, and we will see that complex addition is commutative and associative, and we will see that zero is indeed the additive identity. Recall from secondary school the following two sums. In the first case, we have the sum of two linear polynomials, and we simply add the coefficients. In the second case, we have a radical sum, and once again, we simply add the coefficients of one and the square root of two to get the result. So recall that j by definition is the radical square root of negative one. So in the same way, if z is equal to alpha plus beta j, and w is gamma plus delta j, then the sum of these two complex numbers is nothing more than finding the sum of the constant coefficients and the sum of the radical coefficients. We can factor out a j, and thus we have our result. So some examples. If we add the following two complex numbers on the left-hand side, all we do is add the two real components and add the two imaginary components, multiplying the result by j. So the sum of these two is just negative 1.9 plus 14.4j. Same here. We add the real components, 0 0.5 plus 7.3, and we add the imaginary components, negative 4.9 minus 1.8, and we multiply that result by j to get the sum. Now let's go back to our geometric interpretation of complex numbers. Here we see two arbitrary complex numbers on the complex plane, z and w. The sum of these is no different than treating them like arrows and placing the base of the arrow of w at the head of the arrow of z, or alternatively, placing the base of the arrow pointing to z at the head of the arrow pointing to w. Both of them produce the same result, z plus w. Now theorem. Complex addition is commutative. So let's suppose that z is alpha plus beta j and w is gamma plus delta j. Then z plus w is equal to that sum. We sum the real and imaginary components. But wait a second. The real and imaginary components are real numbers. So real addition is commutative. So we can swap alpha and gamma and beta and delta. But wait a second. This expression is simply the sum of gamma plus delta j plus alpha plus beta j. And that is equal to w plus z. Thus, z plus w is equal to w plus z. Complex addition is commutative. Theorem. Complex addition is also associative. Proof. If z1, 2, and 3 are alpha plus beta j, gamma plus delta j, and epsilon plus zeta j, then the sum, z1 plus the sum of z2 and z3, can be shown here. So first we add the second and third complex numbers to get gamma plus epsilon plus the sum delta plus zeta times j. And now we take the real component of the first complex number and the real component of the second complex number, add them, take the imaginary components, add them, and now we get that we have alpha plus the sum gamma plus epsilon as the real component. But alpha, gamma, and epsilon are all real, and real addition is associative. Similarly, for the imaginary co uh, component, beta plus the sum delta plus zeta is simply a sum of real numbers, and that addition also is associative. So now we can change it around. Now we can extract the second sum and Given this result, we can extract this first sum 
And so we see that that is nothing more than Z1 plus Z2 summed together with Z3 added at the end. Therefore, yes, complex addition is indeed associative. Theorem. 0, which is 0 plus 0j in the complex plane, is the additive identity. Proof. If z is an arbitrary complex number, alpha plus beta j, then z plus 0 is equal to alpha plus beta j plus 0 plus 0j. We can add the real and imaginary components, and we see that that is equal to alpha plus beta j, which is equal to z. Thus, z plus 0 is equal to z, and therefore 0 is indeed the additive identity. The most important takeaways from this talk, however, are that adding complex numbers is almost as easy as adding real numbers. Also, given n complex numbers being added, you can add them in any order you want, and you will always get exactly the same result. For example, given these eight complex numbers, no matter how you add them up, it will always equal 11.2 plus 4.2 j. So in this topic, we've introduced complex addition. It's very similar to polynomial addition, which you've already seen. We're just adding the corresponding coefficients. The geometric interpretation is also straightforward. We've seen that complex addition is commutative, it's associative, and zero is indeed the additive identity. Here are some references, acknowledgements, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers.